hi friends today i just want to show you how to do a timing the valve timing on a honda crv b20 b engine i just replaced the cylinder head so now i have to do a valve timing so that i will start the car so i just want to quickly show you the timing marks and the links that you have to do for your timing to be perfect right here at the bottom on the crankshaft you see on the sprocket there is this mark yeah this line is manufacturing line they put it when they manufacture this pulley and then on the oil pump there is this little arrow here if you can see this little arrow and this line on the sprocket they must align properly so you have to Turn your crankshaft clockwise, 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 until your arrow is perfectly lined with the arrow there, like this. You must make sure it's properly aligned before. Because if you miss this timing, you bend the valves, sometimes even crack the piston, like this one. Then you go again on the camshafts. Here on the camshafts, you can see, I, pre I pre-aligned it already. You can see, as you can see here, on this cap, there is a wall. And this wall is true also on the, on the camshaft. This, wall is going through the camshaft so if it's aligning like this which means you are you are ready and the other side also for exhaust camshaft you can see the wall is already aligned so what you need is to put this five millimeter bolt on the other side and on the camshaft this one is a intake shaft this one is a exhaust shaft so after this you are ready to put your belt then you can take your cam belt if you want to see this cam belt if you are standing in front of the engine this you, you must be able to read this one these words on the belt if you can't read it when you are standing in the front of the the belt turn it over this belt because it's gonna ruin the direction the direction is also important on the belt like this some they have the arrows on the belt but this one as you can see you can read from this side which means this is properly don't ignore this because there is a direction for this belt if you put wrong way around it's gonna it's not gonna last long so like this then you go at the bottom on the crankshaft uh, you see is a water pump water pump and the and the and the tension just take your time So after you put the belt, you can come this side, you see here, at the back of the camshaft, the, this slot, this slot here, is for the distributor, the distributor is this one. So that slot will align with this one, on the back of the intake camshaft, and it's gonna go only one way. If you put it around, it won't fit in. Uh, turn this thing 90 80 degrees 180 degrees is gonna align then you know your timing is good from there you can put everything and start your car I, I was just showing you how to do it if you do it the right way like this obvious your car is gonna start and run properly so the rest I'm gonna do it off camera please 
show love by subscribe share my video so that when i upload another video you'll be notified bye for now